All right, uh, just before I start this video, um, there was, uh, I had my old channel up before, and uh, I guess YouTube decided I didn't need it anymore for no apparent reason, and they just removed it with no explanation. So this is my channel that I've had in as a backup, I guess. Um, and yeah, so now I got to do everything over again. And thank you, YouTube. Thanks for the, the lack of an explanation for removing my channel. I don't remember ever doing anything wrong, and especially not enough to uh, merit a removal of my account. But whatever. This uh, Dreamcast emulator lifted my spirits for the day, and uh, I'm very happy. So fuck YouTube, you motherfuckers. Anyways, so this is... Reacast. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right because I never heard it pronounced, so sorry. This is an alpha build, so it is not perfect, but it is quite a nice for an alpha build. Uh, and right now I'm just going to show you um, uh, Dreamcast, uh, blah, 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 Daytona USA running on the JXD S7800. Now it's not perfect, there's controller bugs. Um, so it's not going to be, it's not easy to play, but as far as it being playable, it is insanely playable. So, yeah. I mean, I've had PCs that couldn't run Dreamcast, so this is quite impressive. This is not the U.S. version, apparently. I have to find the U.S. version. I don't know why, I just do. It would be nice to... Now, there's no VMU support right now, and this never saves. Uh, let me lower this so that it's not taking away my voice so yeah there's no vmu support so you kind of can't save your progress there's no save states there's no saving your progress but this is an alpha build so quite impressive for an alpha build um runs sonic adventure perfectly second one not so much it is very glitchy um I'm trying to think of other games it runs really well doesn't run everything. Um, oh, that's right. There's no VMU support, so I can't really... I have to go without the VMU thing, or else it won't let me play. Now, to, the, the bug I have with this game, and a lot of people apparently have, is that if you press the gas... Oh, and I actually, because of I have this natively, it detects your, um, your controls... Um, it doesn't let you map them, it just detects them right now, so I gotta, uh, it doesn't map them very well either. That's why I have to go into the options and actually change some of the configurations on the controller. Um, so, and you could touch map it, it's probably better, it's just you'll have the on-screen controls. Because you'll then get have all the controls, you won't have to go through this. Um, so, I'm going to go back and make sure this is gas, and then this is going to be brake. Okay. And if they get this working, I don't know, you may want to do that anyways, once you get, you know, VMU support, you shouldn't have to do that. But, uh, on the, uh, what you call it, on the, uh, Dreamcast, the, um, triggers are analog. And not digital, these are digital. So it's um it may cause a problem, I don't know. May not. I may be full of it. May be perfectly fine. But it may just be better if you mapped it to different buttons or something. Um pick a course, any course, we'll go with that. And there are glitches in the game. Uh there are some graphical like right here you can see there's a graphical glitch right there. Um, but the game runs smoothly, and I'm sure with some updates, it should be perfectly fine. I've been waiting for a Dreamcast emulator on Android forever. I like to have certain games on the go. So here we are, you see all this glitching over here. Um, and I'll show you what's going on here. You see it's doing that, it's going as if I'm pressing brake and gas at the same time. And the only way I can speed up is normally if I really rapidly press the B button, 
I also remapped the B and the A. I swapped the B and the A and the C and D buttons because they don't, you know, they don't map properly or something. So, I'm still not going fast enough, but, you know, it's a lot better. It's just not, it's still really hard to play. And then if I let go of the gas, it does that again, so you have to, like, rapidly press the B button until it actually will give you the damn yeah and if you have like an Xbox controller and you're using it I found that if you just lightly compress the uh, uh, what's it call it if you lightly compress the uh, uh, blah blah the trigger because it's analog, if you just lightly press it, slowly, then you can get it to actually drive. And stuff like that. And then you can fully compress it once it starts doing all the gear shifting shit. But, uh, you will not be able to play this properly like this, of course. But, if you can see, it runs really smoothly. It's quite nice. I tried it out on the Ouya. The Ouya actually does not have that problem with, like I'm mentioning, but the Nexus 7 does. Uh, other devices do. I've only had the Ouya give me any luck, so the Ouya controller. The only thing is uh, that the, the sky is completely gone. It's black, and uh, the frame rate's not as good. So that's kind of, I guess that's the trade-off. There's no, no perfection anywhere. <laughs> But it's an alpha build, so it's quite uh, impressive. And I'm trying to play, but you know, I can't let go of the gas, or I can't press the brake properly, or it will stop. You know, I have to hold the gas, like it's, uh, what the hell's that movie? Or explode. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, um, Daytona USA. Hopefully, with a couple of updates, it should actually work properly and not like that. Um,. Although I'll take the frame rate, <laughs> I'll take the frame rate, just not this glitching and, uh, you know, some controller glitches, but work in progress, it's quite, quite a lot of uh, progress right there just for an alpha build, so thanks.